fluid friction apparatus fluid friction apparatus gun neck and it is asked to you select pipe number 2 the length is 20 and uh, length is uh, 80 and diameter is 20 so i will connect the youtube manometer so this is a youtube uh, differential manometer and here the inside is water and going through is water so we need to find the pressure drop between point 1 and 2 inlet and outlet so i need to understand which is inlet and which is outlet so see the uh, water direction this is a water tank there is a pump inside so this is switch on position off position now i will make it on so water will come from this pipe from this hose from this hose it may go this direction it may go this direction so i don't want this line now. so i will close this so water will go up i don't want in this line i will close it i don't want i will close it i don't want i will close it i want this i will open this and this i don't want i close so water is flowing through this so i will connect the manometer here so to connect the manometer put your finger here one hand back and press it okay and to remove just to this ring pull this ring pull this ring okay and to fix press it and same now i will use this here one hand back and put it okay this is very important i found some students unable to connect the tapping So means what you did for 14 weeks so you didn't don't know anything now i understand the water flow direction now i will make i will close this wall i will close this wall all walls are close all walls are close now i will start the pump okay. immediately water will come from here open this open this Not only. Okay, you will find some ear here. So I need to remove the ear from this pipe. Lot of ear here because I can't find. So, okay, so open this. Open this, and you can see the ear is going from here. See now all the ear. Open, open fully. Yes, colors. Okay, so wait for a moment. Wait for minutes. All the year will go because we will close this. See now, if I make it fully, less water. If I make little, little close, very fast. The so year will go very fast. Okay. Now there is no, there is no bubble. It is a smooth flow. So there I can say there is no year now. Okay. Now close this wall. Close outlet. then close in let and see turn off the pump okay now what is the next step i need to introduce the ear so that i get some water column and some ear column so <coughs> i need a ear column equal pressure here ear column equal pressure water equal pressure because the system is closed so open this some water will fall down and when it stops means there is no ear inside there is no leakage no ear is going inside if it is stop if it is not stop means we have some mistake there is some leakage it is stopped means we are correct now i will introduce some ear from this went by opening this so i will open and look at here the ear will come from this pipe hose see this ear it is coming now if i close this it will be balanced okay but i want same level at the bottom so i will make it So now here I will close. Yes. And now you will find the level in the water. It should be same same. 
and the water will stop and it will become same. Okay. Now I will close this and close this. Why now same? Means the, this year created equal pressure. This year column and this year column created equal pressure because here the pressure is same same. Here the pressure is same same because system is off. Okay. Now if I start it, the pressure is different here, pressure is different here. So pressure is different here, it will be different here. I will get the different height. Okay, so now all the walls are closed. Now I will start the pump. Now water is coming here, I will open it. And now see the column, there is no pressure difference. Now I will open it fully. See the pressure line now. See? For this, we are getting less pressure drop. Yesterday, I did it. Very small, small difference. But for the small pipe, I am getting good, good result. That's why I am choosing this. So, we choose this. Now, this much opening. I will measure H1. The bigger is H1, the smaller is H2. H1 minus H2, I will get the difference in height of water. No mercury, so no need of this formula, direct water. Here we need formula. That formula I should do. Okay? Now, second, first reading, I will keep this wall open this much. Fully open. This wall is fully open now. Now, I will sit down. This is a water tank. Here I can collect the water by closing this. And I can measure how much water I collected. So I want 10 liter water, I want to measure time. So you can see here, when the water level, this water level leaves 10, start the stop, stopwatch. At 20, stop. And open this. Okay, so we'll take the first reading. Stopwatch. Start at 10, stop at 20. And when 20 reach, open this, okay? all the readings okay close this wall close this wall and switch off and clean the apparatus last question understand so you will write yourself in procedure okay so if you can't write the video is available on the YouTube you can see how to see the video and write the procedure so you have to write the procedure yourself. So last step should be clean the apparatus. Close all the walls, switch off and clean the apparatus. So we'll do the calculation.